Welcome back to the channel. Uh, if this is your first time here, uh, we talk about anything from personal finance, business, investing, and success. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and ring the bell, and then you'll get the notifications of when there's a new video uploaded. Um, today we are talking about four ways to save money on your insurance. So this is more for your auto insurance and your home insurance. Um, the first step, the first thing that you want to do is you want to shop around. So you want to shop around to at least four or five different insurance people um, and get different uh, quotes to see what the price is on each of the quotes. Um, exact same policies, but four or five different insurance people. And then you also want to make sure that three or four of those insurance people um, are insurance brokers. So insurance brokers have the ability to um, get multiple uh, different uh, insurance companies all in the same brokerage firm. So when they send out, when they give you a quote, it's from, they have the ability to shop multiple different insurance carriers so they give you a lot of options uh, just from one person. So definitely uh, do three or four or, or two or three of the insurance brokers uh, so that you get the best possible rate that way. Um, and then, yeah, you'll definitely see, um, you know, the difference between the different insurance companies and the difference between insurance brokers and insurance agents as you do your shopping and you'll get the best price possible. Um, and then step number two to save money on insurance is uh, bundle your home and your auto insurance. Um, if you have multiple cars, put them all on the same policy. They have discounts for that. Um, they have discounts for putting your home um, on the same policy as well. So bundle it all together so you get those discounts which uh, is I think 10 to 15, 20% depending on the insurance uh, company. Um, and then step number three, uh, they have the option to uh, pay the policy upfront in full and then you don't have to pay it every month uh, with the reoccurring uh, $5 charge or $10 charge that they have if you're paying it uh, month by month. So pay the policy off in full um, when you sign up for the insurance policy and you're going to save, you know, the $5 a month, which equals uh, $60 a year, or if it's more than a lot more, uh, you're going to save that money each year. Um, my insurance company right now actually offers um, a two-pay system, so you can pay half the policy every six months and still avoid the fees. So uh, if you have that option, go ahead and pay it twice a year and avoid the, the monthly reoccurring charge to pay it every month. And then the fourth step to save the money, to save money on insurance, is uh, if you ever get a speeding ticket, you want to go to traffic school. So you'll pay your speeding ticket. When you pay the speeding ticket, they'll give you the option to go to traffic school. Traffic school does cost a little bit of money, but uh, what happens when you go to traffic school, there's a good chance uh, not a 100% chance, but a very good chance that they aren't going to report it to the insurance carrier. Um, so then the insurance company can't raise your policy rates based off of a speeding ticket on your record. So always uh, go to traffic school when you get a moving traffic violation to avoid uh, those points on your record and then your insurance going up because you have um, a ticket on your uh, driver's license record. So uh, leave me any comments below if you guys have any other things that you're doing to save money on the in, on your insurance. And thanks for watching the video. Hit the like button, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.